on Rob O'Neill. Rob, good to see you. I want to start with this. There's a report out today. It's in the Washington Examiner. It's by Tom Rogan. And it says that Major General Christopher Donahue of the United States military has said to his British counterparts, hey, could you stop what you're doing? You're beginning to embarrass the United States of America. In other words, yeah. Stop kicking ass. Stop going in there and saving your people because you're making us look bad. What's your response, Rob? Hey, uh, good to talk with you, Will. Thanks for having me. Uh, my response is simple. I'm a big believer in the acronym KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. And I was talking to another SEAL Team 6 operator with whom I've served for 20 years, and I'm just going to call him Tiny. And Tiny told me the response. Here's how you get the Americans out. Tiny smash with hammer. And that's it. And uh, I have nothing but, uh, nothing but love for the Brits and the Germans and the French who have the stones to get out there. <laughs> Look, you, I don't want to be in charge, but if I was, oh, I want to get the Americans? Cool. Give me nine guys. I'm going to walk through the streets, and I'm going to kill everyone I see, and I'm going to grab the Americans. And it's not difficult. But we have these people who are in charge that are a disgrace. I'm amazed that there hasn't been at least 30 generals and admirals that haven't resigned or been fired today. But we won't because we have a commander-in-chief that was put there through whatever happened at 4 in the morning on election night. This is nonsense. It's insulting. Every veteran, Marine, Airman, and Navy SEAL, uh, uh, co-stars, but everyone I've talked to today, all they tell me is they feel gross. And that's how you should feel. You should feel gross. We don't ask the Taliban permission. You know what we do? We kick their ass. That's it. And Rob, you have first-hand experience with